every time I want to eat burgers, sausages, or any halal meat products, I tend to wonder, is it truly halal? Would there be any pork in the food? I believe most of you have experienced the same thing as well. You know, it could have been added in order to increase profit. Well, it's business, but then it is so difficult for consumers like us to identify pork adulteration with the naked eye. Not even pork will mix in chicken, but sometimes even horse will mix in beef. The issue has been alarming us for quite some time with several local and international cases being reported in the mass media. Therefore, I feel like it is my obligation as a scientist to protect consumers from being deceived by irresponsible producers. This is where my expertise comes in handy, which I'm very interested in halal CSI. My research focuses on detecting pork in meat and meat products. In other words, I am a meat detective. If you watch the popular CSI TV series, the detective will run DNA analysis in order to find the suspect. They will collect the evidence at some chemicals put the machine and the result will be displayed on the computer screen. The same concept is applied in my research, but the interesting part is we do not deal with DNA like Cadbury case. Instead, protein is analyzed. This protein biomarker will act like a magnet to attract outpick protein from a very complex mixture of meat. And of course, with the help of biotechnology, it works exactly like a thumbprint machine where it can recognize different patterns and sequences of meat proteins from different animals. Thus, pork can be detected easily. So what's next? After we establish the pork biomarker, I'm now working on horse beef and some species in order to achieve a wide range of species detection and also to clear out vegetarian juice and Hindu's cases. All these biomarkers are specially designed to assist government bodies such as DAKIM and Chem Department of Chemistry Malaysia in solving meat adulteration cases. So next time, when suspicious meatballs, nuggets, burgers, or any meat samples are received, we just extract out the protein, put them in the machine, and the result will be popped out on the screen. Case closed.